the latest software update 42.3 and 42.4 solve some of the bugs that I've experienced before, such as the dash cam gray X error. Let's find out. <music> This is Joy. I am doing a second video on the 42.3 software update that I received this past week. In this video, I want to talk about some of the bugs that I've encountered. I was hoping that Tesla would fix. One of them is the dreaded dash cam gray X failure, where if you unplug your USB stick without stopping recording first, you might get that gray X. And also later on, as I've learned that even if you leave that stick in, it will still somehow give you that gray X. So hopefully Tesla has fixed this. Another bug I encountered in the previous update, the 39.7 that I had, was somehow the LTE and Wi-Fi would fail on me where I would get no signal for several minutes and it would cause the music to not load and it would keep giving me loading error every time I get into the car, which was quite annoying. So we'll see if it's fixed that bug as well. Thirdly, I was hoping that Tesla might give us an option when we do the navigation to be able to display the entire route while also giving me the heading up direction instead of the north up when I expand that navigation list. So we'll see if my wish came true. It looks like they fixed the LTE no signal issue because now it shows a 3G connection. And I've also noticed that once I get out of this sort of a dead zone, the LTE will connect much faster. It looks like they repaired this, which is good. And also the dash cam, it's been read since probably Thursday and today is Sunday. So it's been several days without the dreaded gray X. So fingers crossed that this update has fixed that issue as well. And then also the music, I don't have the loading air anymore. So thank goodness. Thank you, Tesla, for fixing these that this update would give us options to select the viewing of the route because I prefer this heading up display of the route and I'm hoping that I could still be able to expand this and then it's going to give me the head up route as well but it's still not happening so Hopefully in later versions of the update, Tesla will be able to give us that heading up option along with the entire route. So it looks like the latest update did fix the dash cam failing error so far because it's been several days and I have not gotten that gray X on the icon. So fingers crossed that this is being resolved. And it looks like it's also gotten my LTE connection and Wi-Fi connection working much better now because when I drive out of my home in sort of a kind of a dead zone for cellular connection, the LTE will pick up much faster, like within the first minute or so. So I'm not getting that loading error in the music now. And I've noticed even the web, which is another bug that I complained before, is a lot more responsive. Thank goodness. However, I did not see an option to give me that heading up with expanded navigation direction list. So Tesla, please give us an option. As always, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and watching my videos. Please subscribe down below. Give it a like, share this with your friends and make comments below as I love to interact with you and answer some of your questions or if you have any suggestions to me as well. Until next time, have a blessed week.